really pleased. Obviously, it's an understatement because um, it's a, I think it was a really good performance and a, an, on a, I think an even better result. Not easy to do here with the quality they have, and uh, you know it's a team pushing for the Champions League spaces. So you know that they have the quality, and you know you have to suffer. But generally, I thought we were we were okay in the game. Good moments of quality ourselves makes a difference when you score, um, gives you a chance, and really pleased with the boys because they've they've had a tough time. We've we've had to suffer a little bit, and, and um, nice to be able to come through that. Were you a bit surprised given that Arsenal were? It felt very difficult, to be honest. I mean, I'd have to disagree with you. You can see we played a good game, but you still have to hold on. You still have to suffer. You still have to keep and make a couple of saves. Uh, you need a bit of luck. So, you know, I have respect for the opponent. They were, they're, they're, they're top side. Mikel's done a really, really good job here. So we had to suffer, like I said. Um, but I thought our performance gave us something to hang on to. And um, overall, really, really proud of the players. It's an understatement, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's the Premier League, so and with the greatest respect, we're Brighton and Hove Albion, and every point is hard, hard fought for us. Um, that's how it is. The margins are really, really small. So if you have a couple of bad days and then you play the couple of the top teams, all of a sudden you're in a run that doesn't look particularly nice. Um, but you just have to try and put it into a bit of perspective, try and analyse the performance well enough, keep keep trying to improve, keep learning. The guys, I think we had a really positive um, international break where we had to reset a little bit, came at a good time for us. Strong performance against Norwich, even though we didn't score. And then today we followed up um, with a, probably a, a better performance, even though we weren't quite as dominant, obviously, in the game that we were against Norwich. So it's been, it's been good it's trying to maintain perspective in a mad world of Premier League football. Hi Graham, I have a question for you. Uh, Brighton has never won a game in the Premier League in April. Does that make the victory for the more sweeter? <laughs> <coughs> you can say whatever you want, it still feels sweet, you know? So um, uh, it doesn't matter where it is or when it is to come here uh, at a place that I have a huge respect for. And like I said, Mikel and the job that he's done um, with the quality of Arsenal as a team to, to perform like we did. And to get three points is great for us. And another question for you. Uh, it's fair to say that Brighton can't really get relegated anymore. Automatically, yes. But, I mean, they are, you're pretty much out of danger. And even the European spots are out of sight. How do you motivate a group of players with nothing to play for anymore, really? Well, you, you have to understand how lucky we all are to be here and to play Premier League football and to play at the Emirates, to play next time we go to the Tottenham Stadium. We're fighting for every single point. And uh, until you have the points, until it's mathematically impossible, then we have to keep fighting for them because it changes very quickly here. So how we how we do it is just focus on the next game. We've got a really good game coming up at the weekend, another tough game against a top opponent, but that's what we're here for and we should be happy about that. Uh, hi, Sam. Andy. Um, go, go on, just... um, so what do you make of the uh, disallowed goal and how key was it to the overall game that that was called out? I was very happy with a disallowed goal. <laughs> um, I think it was offside. I think they were troubling, having a trouble uh, working out who touched it. So I think it was Martinelli. So therefore, I'm obviously happy. I, if you ask me honestly, I'd rather it take less time to come to that decision. But as, if it's the right decision and it goes in our favour, then they can take as long as they want. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, uh, we had to be strong in that area of the pitch. Um, Enoch, for different reasons, as as hasn't been able to be available for us as long as as much as we'd like. So uh, you can see how important he, he he is to us, and it gives us a little extra dimension in terms of attacking the box from midfield. And then Moises has had to be patient, and we've had to be patient. And he's a young player. There's a huge potential, and. Um, Delighted for him that he's that he's able to get the game time and show what he can do because there's no doubt he's going to be a top player. Did, um, did anything about Arsenal's lineup surprise you today? Jack well, I mean, obviously they've got um, a couple of injuries from the Monday from the Monday night game, so you never really know how it's going to go. Uh, obviously, I know 
um, Zaka's played there at left back before, so you've just got to try and be, um, <clears throat> you know, open for any anything the opponent does. So um, we were aware of the possibilities, and it was about us really and understanding what we were trying to do. Can that sometimes make it harder when it's been quite a set of Arsenal team lately? Mm. But when you don't know who's going to be there, it can make it harder. I suppose. No, exactly. I mean, they've they've been fantastic before. You know, it's probably the curse of the manager of the month uh, uh, awards. So I'll make sure I never get one of them. Um, but obviously, you know, Crystal Palace is a tough game, and then they pick up a couple of injuries, and it's it can destabilise you. Know, we've had it ourselves. Then you you set you sort of second guessing, but at the same time, you need to make sure that you know your players uh, understand what they're doing. And um, thankfully, we managed to do that today. Graham, um, can you just talk me through these winning goals? Some build up, some finish. Yeah, well, we can shoot, but we just don't shoot a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Um, uh, really good goal, really nice goal. Um, the, the first one, especially as well, I thought was 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 great. We may, may have got a little bit of luck in terms of how we got Enoch away to start with, but then a really good cut back and a great finish from Leo. So as I said earlier, it helps if you if you score. That's what the game's about. But it, as, as I say, there's Premier League defenders and. Premier League players on the pitch, it's not straightforward, but um, delighted for the players today. We've got, we, we, we've had to suffer and and we've got a nice three points. Just one other thing on Enoch. Well, we haven't really had a goal scoring since mm. promotion. Do you think he can be that? that player? Well, that's our hope. I mean, um, he's he just adds something a little bit different to what we have, a slightly different profile. But as I said, for many for different reasons. Um, we haven't been able to select him as much as we'd like and as, and as much as he'd like. But sometimes you have that when you adapt into the Premier League. It's it's just that bit of time that you have to settle in and 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 and, and get used to the level and learn about each other. So hopefully he can finish the season strong because he he brings, like you say, another dimension to us.